I suppose you'll be stopping on now for a while? For a little while. Would you mind lifting them things? I'm sorry. May it's good for you to take a stroll down by the river while the sun will last. It will take the dry taste off your mouth before the tea. Katie Roach? Is that what they call me? That's what they call me. For the last few years, we've been investigating the work of an Irish playwright, a woman from the 1930s called Teresa Devey. We began in 2010 with a production of her play, Wife to James Whelan. Uh, then we did last fall, Temporal Powers, another fantastic play written in 1932. The play that I've been avoiding is her famous play, which means that some people have heard of it. A play from 1936 called Katie Roach. Katie! I came back. I don't know why he's coming, but of course, I'm pleased. I'm always very pleased. Haven't you sometimes regretted this? This? Your life and all that. What is it, Stan? Why do you say, what is it? You're troubled, I think. Do I look troubled? What's said in one place is unsaid in another, and that's the great puzzle. Often you think you'd had an answer. She was so incredibly insightful about human psychology, and she creates characters that are as complicated as humans are. As odd as that might seem, that's rare in the theater. Oh, she's very giddy. Giddy for sure. You have to mind yourself when you're with her. Do you know what Joe said? <laughs> he said, tell him. Did you see any Christian at all? I see an old man crossing the field. Is that all you see? 